What's up, everyone? Welcome to Intoxicated Opinions. Today we have my boy's favorite. You bought it. Thing in the you world. You bought it. You love <laughs> cock, so you bought bought fighting cock one hundred three proof straight bourbon whiskey. You gotta taste the wood, man. It's Fifty one point five percent alcohol value. ABV. You heard that right. Fighting cock. You love it, huh? <laughs> She's like, man, I got this. I Come got on, this don't be liquor, so childish. Man. It's a chicken. I got this. No, that's not what you were saying. This is it's like you're gonna love it from one of the best distilleries in America, Heaven, Heaven's Hill, in Kentucky. This has been around for about six years. No, no, no. It's aged six years. It's been around for a long time. It's just now become a popular in the Midwest. Um, and I hear good things. So I am 103 proof. It's right in the middle. Smell sweet. Smell like, like vanilla, caramel. Smell the wood? You about to taste the wood. <laughs> you about to the go wood cock of the fight, fighting huh? cock. <laughs> you about to cock fight. Bland. This has no flavor, really. It's bland. It smells better than it tastes. Flavor hits at the end. Goes down a little sharp. It's strong. That's that 103 proof. That's a- this is like a mixing bourbon. I mean, I was expecting, from what I've seen on the internet, some really good. Sweet at the end. As those notes. Ain't no way this is age six years. Six years, my ass. I don't taste any oak. I don't taste any. You know how that wood tastes. (laughs) Corn. (laughs) Because, you know, bourbon has to be 51% corn at least. I just taste. Alcohol and that one filling in my throat. <laughs> she always laughing for it, bro. <laughs> Say it again. I'm not. <laughs> but since this is on video, they could just hit replay. Let's try this on ice. Maybe the ice is going to bring out some flavors that are not present at room temperature. I don't know. It just tastes warm. Mmm. Tastes worse on ice. I don't know. It tastes a little sweeter. There's a lingering feeling of chemicalness. I think this probably would be a good mixer. Good. uh, Maybe that's what we need to try. Mixing? Yeah. I forgot how much this was. Maybe $20. So I guess I can't expect much. But from Heaven Hills Distillery, I expected... A little bit more. I don't. It's not flavor. It's not bad. I had worse. It's pretty rough. It's pretty rough, man. It has like a sweet flavor, a sweet vanilla flavor. Of. You know what? I think the only reason this sells is because of the name. I don't know. It's a very untraditional name. It's, it's definitely better on ice. What? It's definitely better. I thought on it was ice. worse. Tastes like cardboard straight. It's bad all around for me. I'll give this a three. Because I've had worse $20 bourbons. Um, this unique. It's, you know what I can say, though? It's weird. They, they got it right at 103 proof. Here's what I'm going to read from. I give dis- it a five, honestly. Heaven Hill Distillery. Distillery. The bad boy of bourbon. That's what they nicknamed this. It's bottled at a robust 103 proof, but it's six years of aging. Smooth out the feathers real well. That's not true. It's not smooth. It is to to to, to an extent. It is. Through award-winning packaging and point of sale and a unique irreverent marketing campaign, fighting cock appeals to both male Gen Xers and serious bourbon lovers alike. So men buy it. I'm not feeling it. Damn it. It, it's smooth. Don't don't get me wrong. What? I think it's I think it's very smooth. You just said it went down hard. No, you said it went down hard. No, I, I said it hits. It's it, hard. It does. But I think that's the proof. But it's not like I've had I've had high proof, and when you taste it, just like it burns your throat. 
This doesn't burn my throat. I just wish there was flavor. I can it's, smell some stuff. It's pretty sweet to me. When I taste some stuff, it is uh, maybe I'm too harsh. Like right here, it, it's sweet at the end, but it's very bland at the beginning. I think that's where the smoothness with, that they talk about. And here, it's pretty sweet, and then it just kind of drifts off. You know another name they could have made this? Sword fighting. <laughs> fighting cock. Fighting cocks. Anyway. Yeah, it's it's definitely, I definitely don't get that harsh burn on ice. What you going to rate this? I gave it a five. Five, okay. Maybe a six on a good day. He's way up there. I told y'all why at the beginning of the video is his favorite. I'm saying it's a three. <laughs> Solid three all around. Uh, I have no 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 qualms with it at all. <laughs> I think it's a very, uh, I think it'd be a better mixer. Definitely, it's not a sipping bourbon. Not to me, anyway. I, I definitely no. mm -mm. prefer it um, on ice than neat. Um, I'm just going to have to mix it and see what comes out of it. I, I guess when they say Gen, what you say, Gen Xers? Yeah, they said male Gen Xers and bourbon lovers. It's probably it's probably a good, decent uh, drinking. Sex is ass. Oh, drinking um, liquor. No, it probably gets you, gets you there, pretty much. I think that's probably why they love it. Hey, your birthday coming up in like 10 nice. months, so happy birthday, my dude. That's your birthday. Done. You see Dang. how he gives me things Done, that he man. don't want. <laughs> hey, if you tried this, let us know your thoughts. If you think we're completely wrong and this is good, tell us why. Don't say we. I, I, it's average to me. Maybe someone's like, no, this is the best $20 bourbon ever. I can say it's average to me. Then they could explain, here's what you're missing. Mm. Or maybe you got a bad batch. Or maybe you don't know what you're talking about. Maybe you don't. But to me, it's, it's an average bourbon. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you if it tastes good or not. This obviously does not taste good. He's going to try to smooth it over. It don't um, taste. It, it, it's in the middle. Harsh it's, of a critic. It's, it's it's all right. It's cool. Like like I said, if you're on a, if it's a night, you chilling, you got some ice, you want to mix something, you want to make a, a a bourbon mule or something like this. I think this would be pretty decent. I think this would be pretty good on ice. I think it's a actually average. I think uh. It'll get you pretty fucked up, if especially if you take a shot to this. Chill shots. Yeah, that's true. It'll that's get true. you pretty fucked up. But, you know, um, as I have an advanced palate, I need to taste that flavor to have a satisfaction. Of it is. It's drink. very sweet. Come on, man. You lying to the... No, it, it's, it is. I'm surprised, like, you can't you can't taste nothing other than what? What you, what you drink before you came? Yeah, I, I taste the sweetness. That's not good. There's no flavor to go behind it. There's nothing to pair with it. It's just sweet over here and then harsh when you swallow. But that's what I'm saying. It's like a sweetness that hits you when it's... No, the sweetness hits you at the end on this. At the beginning, it like hits you hard, and then the flavors come in. This is why I was worried when we did our initial bourbon reviews with the top shelf stuff. We did all those Wellers. We did the E.H. Taylors. Uh, we, we had that Weller 107. That's higher proof than this. It was way more flavorful. You remember that one? That was your favorite. It was a red one. Yeah. So that's why maybe we spoiled ourselves with the good stuff. No, now but we're them, are, them are like eight nines. This is like average. It seems like we're getting I a lot I think you're of going average. way down, way down low. Because we'd have had bad bourbon. Yeah, we'd have had bad bourbon. That was a while ago. Well, Jack Daniels was, is not good at all to me. I mean, yeah. You're we right. neither one of us like makers. That was a long time ago. I think now that our palace has been revised. Um, anyway, let us know your <laughs> thoughts on this. We appreciate you watching this video. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, leave a comment. We have peace. peace.